Uh, I want to talk to you about a subject today that uh, I'm very, very passionate about, and it's getting started in your business, and it's a couple things on the philosophy behind how you want to view your business, and also the implementation as far as the activity of what you go to do to, to build. Inside of this industry, you know, you need to have the mentality of it's a marathon and a sprint. Um, and I want to explain what I mean by that. A, a marathon runner, when you look at a marathon runner, you know, anybody who's ran a marathon, it's very, I'm impressed by them, 26.2 miles, it's quite a long race to go out there and run. And if you look at, you know, why people get involved with our industry today, for the most part, it's because they want to go out there and build an income that allows them to pursue a lifestyle that they want. And all of us have different goals, whether, it, you know, most of us want nice stuff, some nicer than others, I get that. Most of us want to go out there and travel and see the world that we're, we're blessed to be a part of. And most of us want you know, to help other people out and, and you know, focus our time blessing other people in all varying degrees of all those things that, that, that we all want. In, for the most part, the job market, the small business market, most of the things that we've been introduced to before this industry aren't getting us there. So you know, for me, I, I had a small business. I, I was making an okay income. I was teaching part-time at a junior college and I loved to teach. Uh, but I, I just wasn't making what I wanted to make. And I knew that if I stopped working, my income stopped and I couldn't travel because I'd have to take time off work and then I'd spend money and I'd have to come back and be broke again and make it all. So for me, when I looked at this industry, I thought, man, what if it took me five years to build a passive six-figure income, whether I worked or not, for the rest of my life, right? I'm gonna work hard for five years anyways. I mean, if I could build something over the course of the next five years, even part-time, spare time, but I'd focused on it and I was diligent with it and I, and I, and I gave it a consistent effort, that produced this passive cash flow for me that then allowed me to focus on my passions, whether it be, you know, you know, art or travel or passions or surfing or whatever it was that I wanted to go do or be a parent or that. Those are the things that would allow me to have the income to have my lifestyle. So in that aspect, it's a marathon. Finish the race. A marathon runner, you know, very rarely do you hear, you know, I ran a marathon. You're like, well, what was your time? And it was like, now I finished. You know, that, that's the impressive thing about being a marathon runner. So you want to have that marathon mentality of, I'm here to finish the race. I'm here to go out there and get my passive income that will allow me to have the lifestyle I want. Maybe it's, you know, just an extra, you know, few thousand a month that lets you pursue other things that you're passionate about. Maybe you love your job and you never want to stop doing it, but you just, an extra few grand a month would give you that extra things to go out there and, you know, go to the nicer restaurants and take an extra vacation to those things. Maybe you're kind of a place like I was where I wasn't super passionate about doing manual labor and auto detailing what I was doing. And if you could just make an extra 5,000, 8,000, 10,000 a month, that would allow you to completely walk away from your job or get out of the commute or all those things and just work from home and be with your family. That would be the whole dealer. Maybe you're very ambitious and you want to go out there and make a lot of money, 100 grand a month plus. You know, wherever you find yourself, commit to the finish line and getting what you came for and building it inside of the industry, learning it, learning how to do that. Now, the flip side of it is a sprinter mentality. When you're going to be a sprinter, right, it's, the impressive part is not finishing the race. For the most part, a sprint is a very short race, 100 meters, 200 meters, you know, it, it's, but the, the most important thing in a sprint race is your time, right? And you want to go out there and give everything you have. The point of a sprint, a sprint race is a couple things. Number one, you want to give it everything you have to that finish line. You want to go out there, you'll see a lot of times in the Olympics or these big races where somebody will collapse after the finish line because they gave it everything they had from the starting line to the finish line and they everything they have, they teach you to sprint through the finish line. You don't slow down before the finish line, you sprint all the way through it and if you have anything left after that finish line, it means you didn't give it enough. Right? Now, in the beginning, your first 90 days of this business is a sprint, and you want to have a sprinter's mentality of I'm going to go hard and give it everything I have for 90 days straight, and here's why. You create your story. Right? For the rest of your entire career, people are going to ask you when you got started, well, how did it go for you? How much? How fast? How did it work? You know, what should I be expecting for my success? And for the rest of your career, even when you're years into this industry, brand new people will still ask you, well, how did it go for you? Your first 30 days, your first 60, your first 90 days, how did it go? And you're going to forever be able to have a story. When I got started, here's what I did, here's how much I made, right? And you want to be the example. You want to be the pace setter for your organization, right? As the, the, the saying goes, the speed of the leader determines the speed of the pack. You want to go out there and create a massive story that you can use to help other people go out there and create their story and, and create this massive duplicating organization. So that's the biggest thing I want to share with you right now is understanding the philosophy. I, what I ask you is for your first 90 days, have the attitude of a sprinter 
or I'm gonna give it everything I have, I'm gonna go out there, even if you're part-time, even if you're spare time, you know, on the five to 10 hours a week that you're able to put into your business, sprint in that five to 10 hours. Give it everything you have at that time. When it's work time, work. When it's play time, play. You know, don't half-ass both of them. When it's work time, go out there and give it everything you have in those five hours a week so that when that 90 day mark happens, you have an amazing story that you can now use once you adopt your, your, your marathon mentality of, okay, I'm gonna go out there and help as many people as I have to to get to the level that I wanna get to so I can finish this race and have the lifestyle that I want. That's the difference of, of the philosophy of a sprinter versus a marathon runner, and uh, that's the, the attitude that we need to have, I feel, as an organization.